Hi, I'm Kelly Kobiella for First Look. The weather here at Kennedy Space Center couldn't be better for a launch, and the shuttle Endeavour has been given a clean bill of health. And that means at 637 tonight, the teacher turned astronaut Barbara Morgan will finally realize a dream 20 plus years in the making. What is she thinking as she straps into the shuttle at the launch pad tonight? And what would Krista McAuliffe, the woman who was to be the first teacher in space, think about all of this? I asked Barbara Mar Morgan those questions and you'll hear her answers on tonight's CBS Evening News. Tonight's launch closes a chapter on the Challenger disaster for NASA. It also starts a new countdown in a sense toward the end of the shuttle program in 2010, about three years away now. When the shuttle is retired, the U.S. will find itself without a way to launch its own astronauts into space for five years until a new, until a new vehicle is ready to go. The NASA administrator in an interview with CBS News calls this an unseemly position for the U.S. to be in. You'll hear more of what he has to say on tonight's Evening News with Katie Couric. For now, I'm Kelly Kobiella at Kennedy Space Center.